What's up? What's up, everybody? Tenor here, Tenor Talk, where we speak truth and from the heart. Always, you are watching on Tenor Talk or the Grassroots Warrior Network right there. Hopefully, we're streaming on Tenor Talk as well. I got a special, very special guest waiting in the wings, Mr. Nick Alvia from Good Lion TV. He is such a kick-ass dude. What a, an amazing creative and um, warrior patriot. And we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. He's uh, launching another amazing series. But let's make sure we're live on all of our platforms and we'll get into that. You know how we do. So send some five by fives if you see us live on YouTube and Rumble. I'm checking YouTube now. Maybe my trusty um producer can let me know what's going on on rumble and i'm gonna check youtube we look like we're live on youtube very cool let me share that on the platforms and uh don't go anywhere anybody i got mr nick alvier waiting in the wings he'll be here one moment as soon as we get these technical things straightened out let's put this on our telegram right now How's everybody doing? Are you up for an exciting week? I hear I hear the CGI John Durham is testifying behind closed doors, possibly today or tomorrow. And then he'll be on display for the whole world to CGI see um, in CGI, Con CGI Congress because Washington is closed. There's a fence around it for a few years. You guys know that, right? We'll throw in a little bit of red pill here and there and everything like that while we get this technical shit out of the way. You know how we do. So what's up? It's, it's supposed to be an exciting week, everybody. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the CGI movie shows this week. All right. I got that there. So let's go for it. You know what? I'm just going to bring Mr. Nick in right now while I fuck around over here with the, some of the stuff. Nick Alvier! What's up? What's up? What's up, brother? What's going on, man? I mean, our, our chat last week and our chat this morning, very briefly... Very, very exciting. Tartaria. Tell us about tell us about Tartaria. Just jump right into that mofo. All Go right. for it. All right, sweet. So yeah, so now I'm making a film on Tartaria. The Tart Tartarian Empire is the name of the film series. Um, if you know a little bit about me, I'm a J6er filmmaker. Before I was a filmmaker, and then I became a J6er, and then I became a known filmmaker because I'm a J6er. So it kind of worked out pretty awesomely. Because you're a convict, you know what I mean? You're like one of those... You're one of those insurrectionists, you know? I was almost, <laughs> there, so I, I told you, I was number two in line, January yeah. 6th. I stood in line all night, front row. It was amazing. And I was up for three straight days because I was in Georgia two wow. days before. Remember the Loeffler, Purdue thing? And then I'm driving home. I wasn't even supposed to be in any of this stuff. It was just like God yeah. woke up New Year's Day and was like, you go to yeah. a Trump rally. I'm like, you know. I had no plans, and there I am, and there I am in the, the front of the line of January 6th. We were walking down. It was still COVID. We found a restaurant that was open, yeah. and, I, you know, cold and tired, and up three, I'm like, I got to eat, or I would have been in the middle of that mayhem, you know, but... Uh, yeah, it was hard being in there. There was a lot of people. Us, you know what I mean? Like, you're... I, I'm, I'm too pretty to be in jail for a month. So that's why God, you know, had, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, uh, that was a hard thing to do being in jail a total 60 days now, 45 days the first time. And then 20 days the last time all for a misdemeanor, one misdemeanor. Um, when I was in jail this last time, there was a guy who told me he had a felony and was in jail for 45 minutes. So at this point, it's pretty absurd how long they've had me in there, how the system works, um, is not really set up. For example, it's not set up, uh, I'd say, in any way where you could call it fair. It does eventually become fair, but it, in the beginning, it's like they get you and you're screwed. Um, like when I, when the marshals came and got me, um, I was in Nashville, and then they took me to the courthouse. And I was telling the guy who was checking my fingerprints in and everything, I said, um, do you think they're going to let me out? Do you think this, this is just something that... You know, it'll all happen today and they'll let me go. He's like, I don't know, man. I've seen some weird things happen. I've seen some um, child molesters come in and ride out. And then I've seen some tax evaders who basically get locked up. So I was thinking, damn, dude, this is pretty nuts. It's never really something you would think is going to happen. Doesn't that make, but, but when you, when I hear that, right, from, from like, you, you're the, you're the only person I can, I'm speaking to personally. 
that was that was arrested in the mayhem, right? So, but when you hear something like that and you know everything that we know, right? That all of the elite, everyone in power, they thrive on. That's their main business is is child, you know, molestation and all other sick things, and taxing us to death with the fake system and the fake corporation and all of that shit is their business. So of course they need the pedophiles and they want, you know, they're going to, they're going to fuck with someone that's not paying their dime on the fake tax thing, right? They're going to fuck with them. Right. And they're going to put you in jail. But this was all God's plan to, to show how really truly insane this planet is right now. And, and, it's the end of the reign for evil, like they've got along. And, it, and the, the, you know, the biblical thing is pride before the fall. So it makes sense. This whole month is pride month, right? Veterans get a day, oh. but these sick fucks get like an entire month, right? You see how the devil works? It's really frightening. And yet people are suffering <laughs> with extreme sheep nesia. So I don't know what size tractor trailer has to run them and mow them down, but but I think God has the tractor trailer for that, and he, he's coming in a big way. You totally. See. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what's kind of happening in this film I'm making now. This is like my – I would say there's 55 Good Line films on goodline.tv that I've made myself, and then there's 200 I've produced. But um, So I'm usually – I need to count again. But in the last three years, I've, I've done 50-ish movies ranging from those who yell the loudest have the most to hide. That's Pervywood to the divine feminine which i put on the uh the grassroots warrior network quite yeah, recently yeah 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 and then that was with michael jaco and a few other cool people um but now this one's tartaria and it kind of explains how we got into this crazy landscape of this like political uh upside downness because it's kind of a weird way to live and it didn't always used to be like this it used to actually be pretty nice and so what i'm showing in in the film is what it was like to live in Tartaria, which was all over the world. A lot of people think it was just Eastern Russia, but it's actually a bunch of territories all around the world and all around that side of the world, especially. But there were a lot of Tartarian, uh, one particular Tartarian territory was in the Americas. And uh, so it's kind of interesting how the movie will continue to unravel um, history that we thought we knew, but actually was not at all, in fact. Now, this could all be some BS, you know, like what makes this movie right amongst others. There's things in there that will build a case and allow you to make your own judgment on whether this is the real deal or not. All I know is if we're discovering now that they're lying to us about some of the most monumental things, and if they do practice fake news now, they practice it back then. They have a way of calculating how a human psyche can be controlled, and there's been centuries that they've been learning this maybe even more. So, um, for example, 9-11. Look at 9-11. A massive thing happens. Everyone starts having an emotional response to it. And then who's going to explain it? You're now in a fear state. You can call it being like a child again. Like, you don't know what to believe, so you're panicking. First thing that comes out is the first thing that becomes true. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. So that's why a lot of people still have trouble believing that 9-11 was an inside job because it was ingrained in a state of fear. That's MK Ultra. That's basically what that is. And so it can happen to a public, and it does. And so now this movie is aiming to reverse it all. So, yeah, I have a trailer for it, and then also I can show the website, and then I created a promo for those out there watching. It's Tenor in caps, so it's T-E-N-N-E-R. <clears throat> That'll get you 10% off your first billing cycle, whether that's a monthly plan, a yearly, um, the Good Lion Mug Club, or if it's ten percent off the 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 access for life, that's a wow. Point. You you created the you created the the tenor thing already. I we didn't even uh, we were just discussing. Do you have that already? You're 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 a maniac. You you like me. You get shit done yesterday, man. I don't fuck around. So again, you're gonna show the trailer. I was on your site, bro, and I I'm in. Anyone nice. that's spending any kind of money right now, like like for truthers that are telling you nothing. Like you're telling, you got you the content that you. I didn't even realize some of the stuff on your site was yours, right? Like when you look back, you know, yeah. before, like I knew you and your your stuff's like flowing around. You got so many amazing things, but but you, you, can you show the trailer now, really? For quick? sure. Yeah, actually, I think. I, what if I told Let you? Let me get us out of here. Advanced technologies of today are echoes from an ancient civilization that was buried, hidden, and killed by a group of power-hungry capitalists just 200 years ago. Would you believe it? History may very well have been a massive, elaborate fiction, 
And this isn't just an outlandish conspiracy theory. It would be if remnants of this ancient civilization weren't still in existence today. Cathedrals, synagogues, federal and capital buildings, jails, libraries, federal parks and museums have new tenants all over the world, hoping to preserve and hide a once known massive truth that a benevolent one world order existed before ours with an understanding of science, natural law, and spirituality that marvels in comparison to ours today. Before the New World Order stuck its reptilian claws into this phenomenally gorgeous worldwide society, people enjoyed a slaveless world, one that ran on energy, captured and distributed freely from the ether. And contrary to what many believe, Nikola Tesla's inventions were merely rediscoveries of an ancient and advanced technology that once powered the brilliant and benevolent Tartarian Empire. How did this once flourishing civilization come to pass? What clues have been left behind? What technologies were they using? And who slaved them from existence? I'll be guiding you through the greatest story never told, one that has been erased from history by mud, fire, and folklore. This is the epic revival of the Tartarian Empire. Wow, it's so cool. I, I saw that the other day, man. Look, you have to know at this point, if you're like slightly just with a toe in right now, like in this <laughs> movement in shape or form, like just with your pinky toe, like just... If you're just like have that much in here, if you're like that much awake, you know that that's true. You know that they took everything from us, which we're gonna we'll segue into in a minute. What up? What I'm wearing right here, right? This is what we were talking about earlier. Here's the frequency device, right? Oh. This is changing lives. It's changing my 88 year old father's life. I'm 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 in the I'm sitting on a five gallon paint bucket, Nick, in in the in the house I just tried to secure because I have to escape. I have to break jailbreak him out of the nursing home. They're trying to fucking kill him. We had the conversation, right? They yeah. just, they, they, I heard you had you listen to some of the tape recordings that I had secretly with these people, right? They're sick fucks. So yeah. my father's life is changing with frequency. Where you know Nikola Tesla told us the, the keys to the universe, energy, <clears throat> frequency, and vibration. Now we've got we've got empires that were taken away because you would you used to go into these buildings and heal. With frequency and music and where, you know, where, I mean, so the timing couldn't be more epic, right? For us exactly. meeting in this time and, and everyone else that's getting involved in the healing and the natural remedies and God gave us everything that we needed. We never needed silicone poison and sp spray us like ants and GMOs and create shit. I mean, get the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like God gave us everything and they took it all away. The devil took it all away and slowly murdered us. Yeah. So like this much awake, you're going to be wanting to watch this series because you, I, I'm not, I don't care, bro. I'm the bull in the China shop. You don't need to make your own judgment. It's true. Go watch this shit. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. like go make a decision. Wake up. Of course it's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's very true. You know, I like to approach it in the way where there's a lot of haters out there, but when you watch it, it'll make sense. And there's a reason you and it all clicks. Haters, Nick? Right What's here. that? You know what I oh. have? Haters right here. Look, not too many, like not many at all anymore, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> on Instagram sometimes, but, um, my biggest hater is my brother who told the FBI where I was and that's how they came and got me. Um, but I would say, yeah, when you watch this movie, it makes so much sense how much free energy there was in the world and why someone would try and, and take over it and capitalize on it and make certain inventions go away, make certain people who knew certain um, inventions go away. I mean, they still they do that today, but they did it on a massive scale. There's uh, millions of bones under many in mental insane asylums throughout the world, not just, not just the United States, where uh, if you've ever heard of the foundling trains, that's when there were tons of kids being transported around with no parents. Those were Tartarian descendant parents who were murdered, who were killed to keep secrets um, gone, basically. And then these kids were sold for whatever. There's, there's some 
creepy visuals of like a, a storefront with a sign children for sale two for one like can you imagine where are their parents they're dead so this is something they've repeated throughout time and it could be something um that comes from there's a kazarian mafia movie i made it could be from the descendants of that disgusting kind of uh, bloodline um because no were, doubt yeah there are some nastiness no, there's there's some really sick shit going on, bro. I mean, people are having a hard time. I mean, they're having the Pizza Gate. I mean, they they have children under the White House. There's tunnels, dumbs throughout the world. It's like it's real, people. It's real. It's real. I think that's one of the last things that will come smash us on the head. See, Nick, you want my theory? We we spoke about about a few things. You know, you know the global. Alliance, the global military operations been going on for how long? De Derek is like was chosen to be sent God and like down by God and just just show people the law of war manual. Like Derek is basically showing people where it actually tells you in black and white. It's the only thing really in black and white, right? Like when we watch the yes. Tartaria, Tartarian Empire, we still have to say, okay, like you can't go to a current book like from the military that says yes the tartarian empire was like we can't get black and white and say yes it's real yeah but derek is showing black and white yeah here's the law of war manual revised four days before trump comes down the escalator he was going to be installed to to do this global operation yes. it's amazing and my theory is they're monitoring as things go on sophia she just came into the studio she wants to hang out and want you to meet her she's the one that got me Involved and help save my ass with the frequency when the RV, you know, crushed my leg. I asked her to pop in just to say hello. And I said, God, would just got a quick conversation. But I was telling her today, she's working with the RFK campaign, right? And it's so appropriate because JFK, you know, Bobby Kennedy, they were going to change the world. There's something biblical with this family, whether we want to believe it or not. Here's RFK that's going to help. I don't think anyone's going to be the president, to be honest with you. I don't think we need to be ruled and governed by anyone. We, the people, are, we're going to do that. But RFK is going to help bring this new movement over, you know, through, he's going to bring it to the finish line. We were just talking with Sophia, yeah. and I said, my theory, he wasn't even accepted by the DNC. Sorry, Segway Squirrel, as my boy, the West Coast Wizard, says. Yeah. It's important. It's so important. It's just coming out of my heart. The DNC is like promoting and advertising and taking money for RFK, but he's not even in the. So what they're doing, they're taking they're taking supporters of RFK's money and they're fucking him and because he's not going to get the money. You see the lengths that the devil yeah. is going to go through, but the military operation is still going on and these people are being clocked and being pegged. And the operation isn't pretty much over until every last scumbag is put into prison. Does that make sense? Like, all the big shit was being taken care of, like the Kazarian mafia, mafia, the bloodline, you know, families, the Soros, the Gates, the Clintons, all the, psych all the psychos in Congress and everything. That's all CGI. These people are all dead or waiting, you know, for their executions. Washington's empty. Like, this is really happening. But... The lower level people, I even told Sophia, the 70 year old woman that was willing to run a ballot two or three times through a machine, that's treason. I mean, I don't think they're going to hang her, but every last person that, that was okay with committing treason against their country and working for Satan has to be dealt with. And I don't know how long that's going to take. How long does it take, Nick, to arrest, say, a billion people on the globe? A long time, probably, right? And you got to keep letting them expose themselves expose themselves each new thing each new chess move they have to keep exposing themselves don't they and you have to yeah. block them and then you have to go get them eventually right in the order of importance in yeah the order of importance for the globe right Would you and agree? they they say it could be happening now like for example there was that 10 days of darkness theory where at some point a lot of cities would be shut down and you'd get a martial law kind of environment. And that would be the beginning of them rounding up who was left in their whole global arrest, um, or I'd say wide arrest throughout the world. Um, so what's happening right now is kind of um, interesting. There's tons of footage of these massive military vehicles being shipped around uh, via train or actually in streets 
There's uh, military helicopters in neighborhoods. Now, <clears throat> what they were saying is if there is this three, 10 days, however long it's going to be, depends on where you're at. Um, that's when they take the opportunity to go and swoop and get those who they haven't got yet. That would be like corrupt cops, lawyers, judges, people that are um, on the list to who are treasonous because there was so much hate on Trump. Oh, that yeah. It justified people to do something they weren't really thinking was treason you know exactly no it's it's true it's true and once 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 uh here's what happens i think um i, I think we got a little while for that i mean i hope you know i i want i want people that that used to love me you know that were in my life ex-fiance you know my manager my agent in the entertainment business my old real estate clients like I, i'd like a little bit of my life back you know so i could have jobs and finances, right? But um, I wouldn't change a thing. But I, I need, I'm like everyone else, I want something to happen to knock a couple of their teeth out, you know, where you, you just, they get hit across the face, and you see their snots go flying across the room, like one thing, we're waiting, right? But God has the plan and, and he wins, but it's, it's coming, Nick, and you know that this is happening and it's really exciting. Before I bring yeah. Sophia in, let's go back to make sure people know, <clears throat> Trailer rock for people that are tuning in now. They have to go back to like ten minutes in. You showed the uh, the trailer, but they can wa can they watch that trailer if they go to, to to Good Lion TV? I have it on the screen. Yeah, I will show them. Um, I'll show them Good Lion right now. So, are you gonna uh, <clears throat> use that same screener, or I got to look for something else here? I'm learning. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Let's glasses, out. I used to have to wear glasses, and the frequency uh is is helping and my manifesting is helping my eyesight you believe it we'll talk about that in a minute is this it here Again. yeah i think uh if you share there me there, there we all go. right sweet and i'll show everyone and then also what i'm going to share before we segue into um the healy is yeah. what the schumann resonance has been doing because it's frequency Amazing. and um it adds to this whole thing so okay this says june 20th i'm i changed it to the 22nd because uh as i'm as i'm making this it's being made now um, it's not like I'm holding it and waiting. It's this is how I've done all my movies is that I'll announce in the beginning of the month, hey, I'm mad. I'm going to release this at the end of the month. <clears throat> and then as it gets closer, I'm like, oh, no, this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought. So it's actually going to come out on the 24th. I'm giving 24th awesome. because, because what I'm doing right now is it's too good for me to rush and I'm having a really good time. And the moment I start to rush, I don't have a good time. So, ed editing is one of the most joy. It's the what brings me the most joy. I know, bro. I, yeah. I, I was telling you know I, I'm a little half-assed, you know, producing. I had the the award-winning film. I when I edit, I, I think I actually like it better than sex. Sometimes, to be honest with you, even though it's been a while, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so, you, know, just, God's not, you know, but anyway, uh, it's true. Know, I can. I'm agree. single, and you know, and I got a pad now, and it was. <laughs> So, that's so cool. That's Look, uh, but, but but I would for days like I'd start eight nine in the morning and then it's like nine o'clock at night and I realized I didn't even get up to like take a piss or have a drink. That's how that's how amazing editing is, bro. So I, I miss yeah. it. I'm jealous. But go ahead. Heck yeah, I understand. Um, all right, so check it out. If you go to the Films TV, that's where you're gonna get all the exclusive content. Good Line Films. That's where you'll find all the films I've made. Line Disclosure are all the TV kind of deep dive series that we've done. There's like 30 of them, <clears throat> and each of them have about 30 episodes. The Brenson Brothers film is there, just so you can see my latest film. Amazing. That one's up there. Yeah, that one's a good hour long. Went and interviewed them and had a great time. They're amazing. Um, Lion Shorts is where I link my Instagram and then short, other short clips. And for like the search feature, there's not really a search feature where I made this website is Wix. And they're like, how did you build a streaming service here? Like, what? So I'm like, yeah, can you help? But we need a search bar because uh, that's the only thing. But I found that there's a way around it. So if you go to there, you'll find that. So um, if you just want to come and get a free membership, when you first sign up, it says you get one free film. That's not true. You get to once you when you sign up for free, you get access to all these films, all these pages. And wow. um, yeah, basically, um, you, you get the Red Pill Cinema and the Must Watch Films are where you're going to get 1,500 different types of movies. And if you want to categorize and search through genres, there's a genre feature there. And um, yeah, so I've put my favorites here in name, but you'll find that under Must Watch Films. <clears throat> Pardon me. Amazing. And then, um, 
So then also what, what I'll reactivate too, and I'll most likely put on this front page in the next hour is just a logo that, that pretty much guides you on how to get the app because there's an app now you can find it anywhere. Just type in good lion TV and um, you can get an app for your, your iPhone or your Google Android phone. And you can then stream to your television, your, your TVs at home, which is the coolest part. And then the, it's amazing, bro. So here, people got to type in, they go to good lion TV and where do they type in tenor for their discount? Here it is where you go to plans and pricing. Uh, I've heard people say this is the most amazing service they've ever contributed to. And I've heard people say, oh, I don't have enough money to do this. Um, if that's the case, if you don't have enough money and things are hard, just email support at goodline.tv. I'm really generous. I give people memberships all the time if they really need it um, and they can't afford it. But where your money goes, the future follows. And that's what I like to tell the haters or the complainers who say, I never want to pay for truth. Does that mean you want to keep paying for lies? Because right. if, we were, if we want to produce a future where people are getting paid to do what they're doing, this is how we do it. And, and this is how it's been getting done for me. I would not have been able to do this if I didn't get fired. And then I didn't watch a movie and get inspired. I got fired and inspired. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking to hire. So like I'm doing the Nick Alviar's Film Academy. I'm going to people how to make films exactly how I started making films. And you don't need... You don't even need 500 bucks to start. Like, look, it costs 341. That's an eight-week live course that I'm going to do with whoever's joining. And then li uh, live Q&As during the week. But then also the software that I use, the, what I use to edit is free. There's a, there's a version you can pay for, but there's a version that's free. And then I can also show you where you can get free footage online. It's free. But then music, I'll provide music from my from my own collection. I'm a musician, and, and that's really what got me excited when I first started making movies. Great. Was that I was using my own. So um, you can so go. Where is this now? Plans and pricing right here? Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, when you go and sign up, you're going to first create an account, and then to then have a, a membership, you're going to do all this, and you're going to enter the promo code here, and you'll enter in Tenor. Awesome. This is so cool, bro. You know, I got to stay connected with you all of this. You know, I'm, I'm all self-taught. You know, I, I got that, that award winning film. I, I got a lot of shit that this was my prior life. I didn't really talk about this too much during this movement because God, God, you know, kind of saved me and put me out on that. And, and I didn't talk about it. Cause I was like, I don't know, it might come back again, but right now God has me <laughs> driving around the country, right? Meeting Patriots, going to every Trump rally, going to the Kerry Lake, you know, which really was her celebration for winning. You know, it's just crazy. But anyway, yeah. um, it's so cool. So good Lion TV, guys. Look, look, everybody, you're watching a bunch of crap. Take an hour or two off a of Telegram and stop waiting for the Telegram channel that's going to save you. No one's coming to save you. We got we to gotta start living our lives again. That's what I started doing. That's why I'm, I used to be on Telegram all the time, Nick, talking with people, yeah. you know, caught up and wrapped up and like, what, what were, you know, this is getting, this is coming, this is coming, this is just hard, we're going to get saved. And I'm, I'm just living my life. I got sent yeah. home by somebody important, said, go home back to your family, take care of your dad. I have nothing. I can't rub two nickels together. I'm manifesting. I'm doing the, which we'll get into now, the Braden, the Lipton thing. I'm connecting my heart. And my brain and I'm manifesting. I manifested at a place with like next to no money to bring my father home to continue to save him. Right. We got the frequency healing going on. I'm sending him frequency so cool. right now on, on another Healy. Right. This is being yeah. sent to him two miles away. I'm sending Schussler salt, some potassium, what? you know, iodide. I mean, this is how I saved my father, bro. Just sending frequency through the through the God field. We'll get That's into that in a minute. Cool. Good time to bring uh, Sophie in. Here, hold on. Let me share something real quick. Hello. Hi. Oh, what's up, lady? Hold on one second. Nick's going to share something. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to share what we have been seeing with the Earth's heartbeat lately. Where is so, Oh, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. All right. So this is normally, Amazing. if you guys have ever seen the Schumann resonance, this is not what it looks like. It's it's usually very bland. It's, yeah. And it has some spikes here and there. But for this, almost looking like a DNA coding. What's that? It looks poetic. It looks poetic, yeah, and I'll, and I'll share what it looks like when it's not, when it's typically what it's doing, it's it's got this smoother, yeah, something I actually like this. 
I follow it a little bit. Yeah, it's crazy what's going on, brother. It's crazy. A lot of people will like register a spike when there's a lot of white mark and then people go, oh man, are you feeling it? Are you uh, feeling lethargic? Are you feeling X, Y, and Z? But now we have that other one that looks very, very, very magical. I feel like something is magically happening now. I we're, no we're, we're winning, bro. We, we are so, we are so winning. We are so close. Like I said, shout out to my boy, the West coast wizard. He, he's given like an around a June 25th date where something biblical is going on. And then we move into like a 45 day total disclosure period. You know, the, I think the 21st, which is two days from now, right. Is, is yeah. the summer solstice. It's the brightest day. Right. So we're going to shine some light. Hopefully like, is that when Durham <laughs> Is, is CGIing to everybody like what's really going on, you know, in the FBI? Who knows? It's it's going to be an interesting week, and that that frequency there, that the Schumann resonance, which is frequency, is uh, is pretty telling something interesting, huh? Yeah, absolutely. What's up, Sophia? Oh, I was laughing so much listening to you guys talk, and I was just thinking, well, um, I guess our new sex is saving the world. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I get more pleasure right. of, of saving the world, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm uh, um, Nick. You're, you're a little bit of a celebrity for me because I've been following right. you on Instagram for, for a while. I, I, we might have been. I'm not sure. I probably shared your stuff in a couple of stories, and then if I go in, you probably said thank you or something. So yeah. then Stephen said, "Hey, I'm connected to Nick," and I'm like, "Nick," and he's like, "Good line to me." I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" Um, so I wanted to ask you something. Where did the name come from, Good Lion? It's a great question. That's an awesome question. Um, I had an incident where I um, drove home and almost died in, in this accident. And um, when I almost died, I realized, wow, I would have not have done my dreams as a child. They wouldn't have come true. The first thought was my daughter wouldn't have me. And then the second thought was what about music and, and filmmaking? So I, I kind of like I was into Tony Robbins at this time and really into manifesting a reality that I wanted that was not nine to five. And immediately I thought, OK, I have to create a film production company. I can start doing music videos in real estate. And our first real estate meeting. Now, this this story kind of evolves um, was at a bar in Santa Barbara, California, called The Good Lion. I didn't think anything of it at the time. So. We were there and then I, I, I go to the restroom and I see there's a typewriter with a half written story called The Good Lion. And I thought, that's cool. And it was written by Ernest Hemingway, the short story about a lion, I think, who has these wings and he gets he's learning how to use them. It's pretty much about a griffin in a way, because griffins are all Tartarian. Uh, they're lions with wings and they're kind of an eagle as well. But when I read what the story was, it reminded me of one of the first screenplays I'd written. And it was more like a Pixar style movie about a dragon who has these wings that are gold, but he doesn't know how to use them. And uh, it was basically reflecting myself. And then that's when I realized that's what I'm calling this. It's Good Lion, Good Lion Films. Oh, very, very cool story. That's so awesome. I love Sophia, yeah. were you listening from the beginning? Uh, no, I jumped on, I think at 17 past. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, isn't it amazing though the the synchronicity and God's timing? Like we we had a lull, right? We had like gangbusters, like when we came on the scene with the Healy. We we built our little network. We we changed so many people's lives. We you know we have those testimonials on the website and everything. We you got involved in the RFK campaign. Mm -hmm. You're working day and night. You know personal life moves, and I'm dealing with my dad. And here here comes Nick now. We get connected through the grassroots here, right, from the marathon. I've been wanting to connect with Nick for, for a long time. And God God has the plan. You just have to show up. You just have to do his work. And he's, he's going to take care of business. And it's so exciting because now here's Nick releasing the Tartarian Empire, showing the beautiful world that we used to have where we didn't, we didn't have drugs. We didn't have murderous, satanic bastards. We had, we were healed. We went into centers. We had free energy. Like this is true and real. And here's Nick, who's all about it. You know, we were having a discussion about the frequency earlier today when I said, let's do the show. And here comes Nick, who's all about it. By the way, Nick, do you want to yeah. tell, um, I have great news, Sophia, so I don't care. You have to, if you need me to call Robert, if you need me to call RFK Jr., I uh, have no problem. 
I'll tell him. <laughs> I'll tell him. Give him my give him my cell phone. I'll send him a text. You're busy Monday night because Nick is going to have his aura read on our Monday night live reading on on the uh, we're we're doing it live. Nick really? Is all about it. Nick's all about it. I'm all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, when when is it fun? We're going to do it Monday. You're doing it. You got to show up. You got to help oh. me do this. Yeah, you, you, rem you remember. It hasn't been that long, right? It's been like three weeks since we did our, a Monday, our Monday aura reading. Hello, Sophie. Next Monday? <laughs> no, not now. Or next Monday. Next, next Monday. Monday. Yeah. Okay. Next wow, Monday. Okay. You have a week. So you have a week to put in. Tell RFK he's got a problem. Just tell him to get in contact with me. <laughs> RFK is going to be all about it. You know RFK is all about exposing the, 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 the children's vaccines, the whole thing. We, Nick, you want to hear my theory when I talked to Sophia today? Of course, Sophia is donating her time. She's a, she's a beast on social media. She's brought into the RFK campaign. I know people are triggered. That they love Trump. I love Trump. He's on my he's on my mystery machine. You know what I'm saying? But the, sorry, um, but can, I, can I say one thing? This go is, ahead. This is, yeah. the, the, so these times are not about this or that anymore. Those times are over. Right. It's about this and that. And then how can we bring everything together? Heal the divide is the tagline. Wow. That's Heal big. the divide. Heal the divide is, is mm -hmm. the slogan. So mm -hmm. this, is the, this is how the movie ends. We're still going to have the triggered Trump derangement people, right? Because it's going to take a while to, to ease the, the d Democrat and the Republic, the fighting. So mm -hmm. when Joe Biden for the movie, because he's already dead, for the movie, like when he drops dead or they remove him for the 25th <laughs> Amendment or whatever because he shits his diaper. I have no idea what the scene in the movie upcoming is. But when they remove him and Kamala can't be the VP because she's not even from the United States, all the shit's going to go on. The Democrats have to cling to someone strong. And when that's going on, the strong Democrat that they're just going to get Pied Piper into the arms of his RFK, right? And RFK is going to educate them about the corrupt vaccine and the poisons, which he's been doing his whole life. You see, you see what's happening? And you see that Trump and RFK are not doing the normal Republican Democrat bash because that's not the plan. It's unification and education of our real history and moving forward with no division. And we don't need somebody to rule and control us. We're not going to have a president, by the way. There's the newsflash. So does everyone, can, can, can you kind of see how this yeah. is going? Yeah, absolutely. I've been thinking about it lately, too, how um, the, the U.S. became a corporation and most corporations have a CEO and a president. And so at, as we unravel the, the desire and the lack of trust deepens and furthers and we see what the government has actually been up to, um, we're going to elect for it to go bye bye. And like, right. I feel like the next two movies I do are going to highlight that for people, not even the Tartaria series um, while I'm doing that, because that's going to be like a 10 part series um, of yeah. films, the, the Derek Johnson movie I get to make and then the David Sumrall movie and David Sumrall is the J6 witness. What, what his movie will do is evidently show with great precision how we can't trust the U.S. government and how they've destroyed so many lives with this insurrection that they've set up. Yeah, so like once I'm off probation, I'll be able to really uh, do that full throttle, which is July 18th is pretty much the foreseeable time where I'm not going to be on probation anymore. Nice. Yeah, thank God. Well, good job, by the way, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you said July What's that? It's the July 18th. Yeah. So because of me coming to Nashville and violating probation, it was like a tug of war between two officers, one in D.C. and one in California. The one in D.C. is like, hey, man, sounds like you're reading your judgment and making your moves right. And I was like, thank you. I did a lot of research on this. And then the one in California is like, no, you got you to gotta come back and then do it all over again and move. And I was too far along with my move to where I just stayed put. And then I got arrested. U.S. Marshals came a knocking. And um, for 20 days, I was waiting to find out if I should be put in jail. Isn't that interesting? For like 20 days, I'm waiting for a detainment hearing, but I'm in jail. So it's like, what do you guys, you guys are going to decide later if I should be here already or not? I'm already here. So I filed, I filed a motion for release and then they let me out. And uh, that was against what my lawyer thought would happen. So I was like, wow. really stoked. And then my judge let me live here, which kind of shows I was doing as much as I could right in that sense. And so we have a, a hearing on July 18th for that violation. And my lawyer's like, dude, you're going to be, you're going to have seven months left. 
You finished community service. You paid for everything already. You've done 60 days in jail already. Like for a misdemeanor, this is already excessive and severe treatment for what you've done. I'm going to try and get you off probation. And so I read her case for it, and I, I was so happy. She's so, <laughs> she's so good. Yeah. Well, you know what we do here? We, I say congratulations because you know, we have to manifest, so we have to see it done. So, so Mo to B, mm -hmm. you're, you're definitely off. Uh, you're, you're off probation. It's finished on the 18th, man. Congratulations. And you, Stephen always says, when I'm like, Stephen, you need to like hold your thumbs or whatever. And he's like, no, congratulations. It's done. And I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah, and, how, and how many times has it not happened, Sophia, when I congratulate you? Every time you've said congratulations, Absolutely. it's happened. And here's to the bad uh, guys. That's his <laughs> Manifesting is a real thing. It's a it's real. very real thing. Mm -hmm. It's real, bro. You remember when I told you today that just the two times because I'm learning this because we're not used to uh, as as a as a human race here to really understand the power that we have because the devil doesn't want us to know the power that we have. Yeah. Why did they, you know, destroy all these beautiful communities and these empires, right? Because we were we were in control of everything, free energy, totally healthy right no no need for any of this crap to be rule and controlled so what why right exactly so um, right you uh, know what i'm gonna add to that when that yeah. whenever i get locked up in jail it's so strange to even say that i've been twice but what that is when i test my manifestations even more because you're in jail like how could you get anything but you do like uh mm -hmm. it's like oh i really wish someone would give me a cookie right now like or it's some simple things like that where, oh, like first it, it starts with manifesting a positive vibe because when you're in jail, sometimes you're very low. And, and yeah. if you can bring yourself to a level where you're appreciating God just for life and then you start to vibrate higher, then it turns into something different for not just you, but everyone you're in there with. And then you build connections and you, you go deep with people in conversation and it makes it like to where when I leave, I'm almost sad. I am sad when I've left jail to the, the two times I have because I, I built yeah. something with people in there. You know, like this last time I was buying people their mother's roses for Mother's Day. And it just blew them away that someone would do that. Yeah. And in the last time I was in jail, I started buying hot plates for everybody to the point where it was like every week it would get bigger and bigger and bigger. And at one point it was like half the cell of like 30 people we're getting hot plates because I organized like how to make it happen. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Some people are like, Nick, you're crazy. And it's just, I just want to bring light wherever I go. That's I believe cool. humans are inherently good. And when you touch that part in them, it starts to grow and that's what they want because the universe is inherently more positive than negative. You just need to touch that good spot. Yes. Good lion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm so excited what's going on. I mean, God is, God is so good. Thank you. Thank you, God. I mean, for this meeting, for, for, for Nick, for Sophia. God's plan is unfolding right before our eyes with everything. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're going to now really connect and bring, you know, there's pockets of people all around the world. This isn't new. This isn't new, this frequency healing and there's devices. But I truly do believe that this device is the, is the Lamborghini is I'm not poo-pooing anything. There's things that work, you know, patches and all these things, herbs and natural things, absolutely, you know, natural things. But um, all this, simply put, this device is helping us tap into the power that God gave us. This device, like like Ken Close, one of the top guys in Healy, this, this is a bridge between us and the power that we have to go get. And the fact that I'm running frequency right now on my dad, I'm running the Schussler Salts right now, Sophia, for like four hours. This thing never ever stops everybody. This thing runs day and night. I have a separate Healy specifically on my father. That's how I've been able to get him off of most of his meds. I don't want to take up the show with that. There's shows no, that. Cool. my last show take your power back. I talk in specifics about my dad. He wound up in the hospital because I said, fuck it. I, I took him off of all of his heart meds, but they already brought him to the point where they almost murdered him, where they were giving him all the meds and slowing his heart down and he was retaining fluid. I have the pictures when I got home in February, he was blown up. So I just 
I manifested, Nick, his healing. And we even spoke about it. I says, Dad, you might wind up in the hospital as long as you're ready. You need to tell me if you're not feeling well. And he wound up in the hospital, which I manifested. He had a catheter in, and they were able to drain like 18 pounds of fluid out of him the week that he was in the hospital. He's back in the home, and they ingested his meds. And I, I, I let you hear that corrupt conversation with the heart doctor, right? The both of you heard that, where he said the order stands. And then that order completely got adjusted and altered in the hospital because my father's original doctor that we had, that I thought retired 15 years ago happened to see my father in the hospital on the 11th hour when he was getting released. And I had the conversation with him, and he adjusted everything. You believe it, Nick? I, yeah. I manifested this. And I have my father off of 80% of his meds. And I'm bringing him home here by July 4th. And I'm going to have him off of all of his meds because of frequency healing and the love that I'm giving my father. This device helped me get rid of my ancestral baggage. That's another thing that we're going to talk about Monday night, Nick. We're going deep. Yes. I'm going to tell you about your ancestral baggage. Grandparents, great camera. Right, Sophia? And Sophia running programs like bot flowers and my aura vibrating frequency to me on my aura this is awesome shit that this thing told me about helped me to love my father because i had a shitty relationship with him yeah now dedicating like my life to saving my father's life again Mm. it's not just it's not just curing your pain it's it's curing it's curing everything this is real. And I, I get passionate about this because I want people to know how real this thing is. Yeah. I was just thinking about the Schumann resonance again. And so when we're talking about the Healy, what it does is um, we have, we, we've been taught to think on a physical level. So when we have a, um, a symptom, we're like, well, the cause is, in this, the cause is also physical, right? Which, which is, is, is not true. So, and where the farm industry doesn't go in is the level of frequency and energy. So mm-hmm. when we have feelings, we know that from little children, you have a daughter, um, uh, uh, Nick. So when we have children who have a tummy ache, it's usually because something emotional. Mm-hmm. So it started off in emotions and it manifested into a tummy ache. So the same thing with us humans. And so what the Healy does is it, there is a natural frequency to everything, like, yeah. like a code, like a sacred code. And what the Healy does is that sacred code is in the Healy. It knows what that code is. And so when we're misaligned, we go out of health, out of balance. And the Healy just gets us back into, it's like, hey, it's like a tuning fork. And so our body's like, oh, I remember. Great. I'll tune to who I, what I'm supposed to be tuned to. And the Healy will tune you to that. And so I was just thinking, I was connecting those dots with the Schumann resonance and that pattern, that beautiful pattern. So maybe... That's the manifestation of our beautiful sacred patterns coming back. Yeah. Like what, right? Yeah, I really think so. Yeah, because I've been feeling pretty awesome. I mean, I do get tired. Right? Of it. I push myself, <laughs> but like, I, like the underdog the- is is coming out to party. Yeah, exactly. And not you. I mean, all of us. All of us. I it's told you, I was like a, I was sucked into the earth today. I I've been working yes. like a maniac day and night on this on this place to get it ready for my dad today. I could do do nothing yeah. but walk around, just talk to Nick. I was I was I was mentally and physically exhausted today, but now I'm revved up. We're right, gonna- we have to honor that because, um, like two days ago, I, I just knew, like, okay, I'm gonna release this on the 22nd. I really have to get to work, and then I'm like, but I really can't. I have this migraine, and I never get migraines. And then my stomach was having issues, and I was thinking, what's happening? And this was the day before the Schumann thing showed up, so I just kind of did the same. I I hung out all day. And then around seven, I finally got back to life. And then, so that's why I pushed back the date. When did it start? When when did you feel it started? I felt it start. So Monday, this thing happened yesterday, the Schumann resonance. And then uh, Saturday is when I started feeling weird. And then like, uh, they have people on Instagram who will show you the Schumann resonance, like a weather forecast, Mm -hmm. like one person I've been following and they they can tell you what you're going to feel whether it's like incredibly hungry or not hungry at all, or all these kind of extremes that occur. So now for this to come up, they're like, we don't know what this is going to do <laughs> because we've never have, seen it before. Have you, did you notice there was something really weird that I tapped into completely by mistake, which was the Northern lights that were coming down into the South of America. Like, did you, did you? Yes. I yes. didn't see them, but I was, they were being reported everywhere. So I put in Northern lights 
in Facebook and people were reporting it way down to New Mexico. I'm like, wow. Yeah. They're called like, Northern Lights for a reason, not New Mexican lights. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy who I communicate with. His name is Seek, Seek Oneness on Instagram. If, when you look at him, you, you, and he lives in the mountains. He has this vibe where he, he, he feels like he's shed the desire to be part of society and, and he's gotten to a place of understanding this is what he wrote um when i because well, right when i saw the schumann resonance i was talking to him so i said yo johnny what does this mean and he just tapped in and said we are moving into singular into a singularity moment where the changing of energy systems will alter and affect all within this realm to transmute into whatever reality they have given their allegiance to which is why it's so important to place your consciousness away from the distractions and onto what kind of reality you wish to bloom from your being. It's starting to align with the DNA. And it's interesting because this Schumann resonance kind of looks like a DNA helix to prepare this realm for the shift. We're approaching a moment this realm hasn't experienced within at least 24,000 years. This is why the black sun or the second sun has become, begun to become visible in the sky. <clears throat> it is rising into singularity with the light sun. This is also why we are beginning to witness aurora borealis is happening all across this realm more. This realm is just a giant energy system, like a program on a computer. And like programs on a computer, it has a cyclical rebooting process. We are approaching a reboot. We are seeing our collective DNA connect with the Schumann resonance in singularity with it. If you guys want to read more of it, Good Lion TV is my Instagram. But that's basically the essence of what he's saying. Wow. Mm -hmm. it's, amazing. it's amazing it's right? amazing it's amazing like everything's coming together i mean and and you know what mm -hmm. it's amazing like how can you deny the frequency right the tesla mm -hmm. nick this is even this is even the, this <clears> is wireless <throat> this comes with wires this is a tesla technology coil which makes the heli wireless because it comes oh my with gosh. the wires so cool. It's, yeah, it's, it's amazing, bro. So, Sophia, maybe maybe Tuesday because Monday Monday is the show that I usually do here. I don't know if we'll do it light. We'll talk about it offline, but we'll promote it. So it's either Monday or Tuesday night. Are you good? Are you good either Monday or Tuesday, Nick? Yeah, I am. All right, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll Monday's figure out. Monday's better. I I usually have my volunteer, like the Robert F. Kennedy usually volunteer calls on Tuesday. Um, on so Tuesday, Monday would be better. Monday will be better. All right, mm -hmm. we'll we'll but, figure it uh, out. If Monday, it's not Monday. possible, we'll make it happen no matter how. All right, and we don't. Yeah. We only need you for. We don't need you the whole time. You can come in, do the reading, do the thing. I will, you want, I will, you know? I'm not, we're not half-assing anything. Okay, okay you're gonna. <laughs> we, we can't. We can't have you not not be here. You know, you're 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 the queen here of this. So, I don't want to. Um, Nick, anything? And, and I wanted to leave people the the website just to check out. Oh the, yeah. Um, what do you want to leave people with? So Good Lion TV, for those that are coming on now, go back. Nick has a 10% off if you go to, I have it on the screen there, Good Lion TV. And if you go to the um, page, what's it called? Pay and uh, uh, plans and pricing. Plans and pricing. And if you type in, in the promo code, Tenor is going to give you 10% off. I don't know why you're not. I don't know why anyone on the planet right now, like I said, that doesn't <laughs> even have just a little bit this much awake, is in, is, if they have, you know, 777 to give you Word. monthly for that content and you're giving a bunch of shit for free too. You re you really rock. What hey, do you thank want you, to man. tell people? And then I want to close out with a, a couple of these and a couple of things and leave with some information. I want to leave off with uh, another, um, I started, a, a, and this is kind of a, what I want to blend in with what I think the Healy is doing. I, I, I created a, um, a, a product that helps autistic children get back to a place of stability if their mind is completely chaotic um i created this thing called re brand with alpha sony and i, I want to show you guys it just briefly because the the essence behind this is very much what i think is happening with healy when there's this is only essential oils that are distilled there's a vibration to those and and there's a 30 percent off right now spring 30 by the way um I made this commercial year. I made, I made everything here. the website, the everything. Um, oh. Yeah. I uh, made the logo and everything. But the thing is um, what's happening to children who take it and adults. So like um, if you ever heard the saying, if you're sick or have a cold, put an onion in your sock, you know, it's the essential oils that the pores under on your feet are so large that it, 
it really brings in what you put there into the bloodstream quicker than anywhere else. So this, but I'm starting to realize it's the vibration of what plants bring. And so the vibration of the mixture of what we have in each of these is really changing people, not only kids, but adults. So if you want, if you have, if you're on the spectrum, if you have ADD, ADHD, even, um, you take the detox and then you take the, um, the autism support and it, just watching these, I'll give you guys the freedom to go watch and see what has happened to people. You can also see more reviews if you come up here and then click the reviews page. But yeah, that's something I've been actively doing. Um, I lucked out with my community service for the J6 drama I got in and I got to work with a, a gentleman who has Down syndrome, but who is like an epic, epic man. He's 28. He's been on the cover of People magazine twice and he's... um started a few charities he goes and hangs out with celebrities all the time and like does their 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 outfits he's just such a beautiful soul and i'm really close with his mom but his mom says she didn't tell him to do anything this is just the product of what has happened going to a high school where everyone put him in a box said you have down syndrome you can't do this and that he ended up winning prom king so like wow yeah this kid is so cool. And so we're like, we've been making, I've been making things for them. And ultimately I do want to do their documentary. So yeah, that's kind of, I just got to make sure everyone knows this is an option out there. If you want to see some kids with autism, relax and get to a sense where they can walk wow. up and talk. Yeah. It's good for parents. That's amazing. And it's interesting. You say the frequency, right, Sophia? Cause another one of the Healy products, the mag Healy, it actually, it, it, there's two pages of, of um, for you to charge your water. You can charge it for energy, charge it for sleeping, charge it for your kidneys, charge wow. it for plants, charge it for your animals. And it's, so it's, it's sending the frequency, the vibration, right? So cool. Yeah, I was raised on homeopathic medicine and my father was always telling me it's, it's uh, the, so the higher the potency, the more it will actually work with the, 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 the frequency is what is actually doing the job and tuning your etheric bodies and the lower the, the potency, the more physical it gets. So depending on what you have. So that's what you're, that's what you're referring to, I think, right? Exactly. Exactly. And that ties back into the emotion that creates it. Cause it's the vibration that creates yeah. it. Yeah. We create, we're vibrating machines. We're like strings on a God's guitar, you know? Exactly. Isn't Yo, oh it God. amazing? Stephen, the video of the Healy where we said that's an artist. I, Nick reminds me so much. He's probably secretly the the one who created. Right. That I, did no, you, he's, did he's, have he has he seen it? I don't know. Did you did you get to see that six minute video that I sent you today, Nick? I know you were so busy. No, but like you know, that makes me think I should mention every film I've made is in four thirty two hertz, and that's the frequency that's of more. Of course. Like our, yeah, my narration. <laughs> 432 hertz yeah it's like a secret sauce that yeah. not so secret anymore well everybody yeah. knows can't why would you not be want to be right in tune with with everything like um what, what was it steven i think uh that meeting was with uh, scott and um um what's his name scott the the truth truth stream scott yeah, and scott Oh yes. Yeah, yeah they, they're also creating yeah. music and um, not not Scott, the other guy. Joe, Joe Rosati. Yeah. Yes, oh, Joe, yeah. He also creates his he he was also talking the, about I filmed one of their music videos. Really? The Freedom Now. Yeah, yeah. That came out. Wait a minute, years. what do you what, what did you just say? Freedom Now, that song Freedom Now that Joe has. I filmed that music video with them. They're great I'm supposed to do money. the album cover. Oh my God, that's this awesome. This is so oh, crazy. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Did God like, yeah. did God put like a cool team? I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to spread any rumors, but I heard, you know, Nick Alvier and Tenor might dabble in writing a song together, but I don't want to tell anyone just yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you have everything in common. You have film, real estate, <laughs> and music in common. Oh, I know. Yeah. And truth. I didn't even want to, I'm like, he's just blowing my mind. I don't even want to talk about real estate right now. Anyway, hey, Nick, I own. GreatAgainRealEstate.com, and I made the red hats like seven years ago that look like Make America Great Again. I, they're mine, everyone. Don't even try to fuck around. I'll own your ass. <laughs> Real Estate Great Again. I have my dad wears it at the home. It looks just like nice. great, you know, ma Make America Great Again. It's making real estate great again. By the way, you like my Jesus and Justice for All designs? Yes, that is you, awesome. You like the news? I scribbled that down, and then my my graphic gal in Ohio just. just banged it out in like two hours and I'm like, yup, 
You guys can get yeah. that at tenortalk.com there, shirt or hat. Hey, Nick, I wore this for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, I love that. Raise lions, now sheep. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude. Yes, man. So yeah. we got a great team here. God's so good. He's he's putting the uh, he's putting you know a good team together in the end. Nick, I was telling Sophia offline that you are, and this isn't you know I don't have to blow smoke up anybody's ass. I don't give a shit. You're the new whatever Scorsese Spielberg, Thanks, right? You're, we, need the, we need the new. You're Spielberg. because everything we yeah. know. That's how I grew up, man. Wrong. Everything yeah. was wrong, and you're going to be one of the biggest platforms in the world because what you have is nothing but truth, and it's educational. It's different than me going on, you know, getting some videos, and when I filmed the fake uh, inauguration and I broke it down, and I, you see trees in one clip and another. It's different. Like, you're, you're doing such a detailed, narrated film, and you're giving people opportunity, and you're going to have a place for people to have their put their good content on. You know, the people that have been fighting and that have been in this fight and you're such a good, I just want to, I just want to tell you, man, kudos to you. You're, you're really, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited that, that this is coming together and, you know, even we're just working together a little bit. It's, it's such a pleasure for me because this is my world. This was my world before I yeah. did everything, you know, for speaking the truth. You We're going to do so much work together, though. I can foresee a lot of uh, our future where I'm starting to make narrative films. And, like, I'm working on a, on a Black Mirror t type of uh, series that meets the Twilight Zone, that meets all the Red Pill stuff that we know. That um, The team's assembling, man. The team is assembling. Yeah. And, and, and I can see that you're in that team acting and behind uh, the camera helping out, dude. This gonna be whatever, really whatever, man. That That's my work. When I'm on a set, you know, when we shot the short film and the other – series i did the teaser like when i'm on set i'm like in a i'm like it's like, yes. like, like, <laughs> like I'm again and i'm wearing a fucking cape you know and i'm climbing trees and i'm i'm just like the world i don't need any of it just man i just just day and night right here is, yeah. is the only place i want to be or in, or in a yeah. studio with headphones on you know banging out some rock and vocals those are the two yeah. i don't need any you know yeah what are you gonna say sophia and how did you guys meet how did it happen through here, through the Grassroots Warrior Network, right? Okay. Yeah, God, God had Nick on right right before me on the schedule, you know? Well, we'll, we'll call okay. Kevin. We're not calling Kevin God. We love Kevin. <laughs> and I'm not call God. But no, God, you know, had Nick on. And we he, all have it with him, right? You know, and I said, Nick, stick around. You know, like something came to me. And I'm like, Nick, you know, I jumped in. I said, Nick, hang around. And we, it was just God mm. talking, you know, and here we are. That's how it works. But um, yeah. Nick, the video I want you to watch. Let's do it Monday night. Let's do it Monday night. We'll go live on all the platforms. We'll go live Monday night at 8 o'clock is, is my time here. We're live. I'll do my Monday show with Nick. We'll do your aura reading on all of the platforms. We'll make it's sure we're live. Let's do it Monday night, 8 o'clock. So Woo. I encourage everyone, Nick, that six-minute video is on healingtheworld.love. I just put it. If you go to healingtheworld.love, everyone, you'll see a two-minute video on top of me. Scroll on the top. Scroll down, and it says, what is Healy? Two short videos talking about the technology, Tesla. It, it's mind-blowing. And and make sure if you have any questions, email me. But you know, if you if you're if you're if you follow Nick and everything like that and you have any questions, make sure you put in the subject field Nick. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you get involved in this, we want to make sure you know Nick knows about it. But the website has the two videos on there. There's a lot of information. There's some cool deals going on to the end of June. So we still got some time next week, right? We'll still have a week for people that we can help out. Nick, cool. we have an amazing community offline, Facebook, Telegram. You know, awesome. we have Divine Feminine, I was telling you about, that are helping people. We've changed so many lives. And I got a couple of, I was only able to put like two or three testimonial videos on the page as well. So I encourage people to go there and please hook up with me at tenortalk.com so you don't miss any of these news, this news, and you make sure you don't um, miss the shows. And um, we're going to be, I'm excited, Nick. We're going to be doing a lot together. And yeah, Sophie is busy right now with RFK, but she's going to be here for us Monday night. And then a week after that, I think she's going to be back in the mix again because we have to build this. We have to build this this healing community, and we have to bring healing and frequency back to everyone. We started it like gangbusters, and we're, we changed 
so many people's lives. And some of those testimonials are at healing the world out love. But uh, mm-hmm. it was a great, we brought just over uh, an hour. We're probably going to finish at 107, which was, I mean, God's working. That's the only way I would have it. And um, <laughs> any closing thoughts, Sophia, Nick? Hmm. Well, right now is a very important time to get your, uh, your frequency right, whether it's through Healy and also just your thoughts. So if you can, if you're struggling, if you're tired, if, if whatever, do your best to honor your body. If you're tired, if, you, if you're dehydrated, do what you got to do to reverse what's going on and to allow what's happening. I'm hearing uh, a lot of friends are going through some things like body things, you know, headaches or lethargy or, or, or whatever it is, stomach issues. I think we're on the precipice of something that will be remembered forever. Um, I've never God. seen that human do that. And, and the way I've been feeling and thinking and people are saying, hey, get ready to buckle into your house for a while. Something is happening. I feel like it's all happening around the same time. If there is a cyber attack that happens and we're forced to stay in our homes, stay positive throughout it all, be an anchor of, of, a, of a positive force and really protect your family in any way that you can. Mm-hmm. And also, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put fear out there, but to get people excited, I think um, as we see very different positive things occur, there might be a force that's trying to combat that. And we yeah. might be seeing that happen now. Yeah. We're in that shift. The, the devil's in his final battle. And um, it's so important to get outside to ground. Again, a shout out to the, to the wizard. Even if you're, you can't get outside, you can grab your faucet because it's, it's grounded into the ground. If you, like, if you can't, it's so important to get in touch with the earth. Um, Dope. So, just get outside and yeah, go. Right. <laughs> no, really, I mean, people are laughing at that. I didn't know that. Right? That's it's great. great. It's connected through a copper pipe into the ground. I mean, wow. it's that important. It really huh. is that important. We're coming up to 107 here. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Sophia. Please mm-hmm. go to healingtheworld.love. Go to Tenor Talk. Make sure you're hooked up with me. We will be back on Tenor Talk and the Grassroots next Monday night. We're going to do Nick's Aura. We're going to show you how amazing, how amazing and breathtaking this device truly is. I'm so excited. I love you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you, Sophia. Nice meeting you too. Mm -hmm. Have a great evening, bye. Bye.